Hey guys, what's up? So I am filming a vlog chatty kind of video today and I'm also going to get ready. I'm not filming in HD today. This is my older camera that I used to vlog now and uh, I don't have my ring light on so if I look different that's probably why. I like to start off with eyes first so I just put a little bit of the concealer on. This is the Too Faced Born This Way concealer in light. I like to use light for my discoloration on my eyes. I feel like it covers very nicely and I also use fair for the rest of my face just because because I think light is a little too yellow tone so I kind of mix these two together to make my perfect shade but I love this concealer you guys it is so great like the texture is really thin but it's full coverage it's so so easy to blend too it's not like um, really heavy or fake looking like it's just so pretty I love it eyeshadows I just cleaned out my makeup geek palette look at how nice it looks now it's just so clean and refreshed I love cleaning my Z palette um, this is the one that I keep in my everyday makeup drawer with like all of my favorite makeup geek shadows in it um, I do want to make a swatch video on this palette like my favorite ones um, because I love my makeup geek shadows like I reach for this all the time and all of my most used favorite shades I've really really hit pan on so I'm planning on placing an order soon because I need like creme brulee it's getting hard to use like in the little edges of the pan a lot of you said you were pretty excited for fall too in my last vlog and it's been hot here like it was cooling down last week and then this week it's all hot again and I'm like no like let's please go back <laughs> let's go back to the cold I would like to travel and see other climates and just other places I'm not sure if I would ever move away from home because to me California is just always home and I've actually visited other states and I almost moved out of state I couldn't do it I thought it was gonna be like exciting to live far away from home and you know I was just so ready for it and then once I actually got there I was so homesick I cried I was like I want to go back I can't live here and yeah that was the end of that but I was like oh my goodness like it was so scary that that feeling of being alone almost like that's really I guess maybe that's what scared me but also the place I was at was just not for me like it was really isolated it was a couple years ago but yeah, I almost did move out of state and I really, really felt homesick. I missed it. I missed the city. I missed, you know, not just LA, but I just missed being near my family and being near my hometown where I grew up and stuff. I was just like, I can't do this. Like, I missed home so much that I actually did feel sick. It, it is a thing. Like, I had never really truly felt that feeling until I'm like, I left and it was so weird. I'm just taking Frappe from Makeup Geek and I'm kind of lightly blending that down here. I know it looks really weird to have just eyeshadow, but don't worry. Don't worry, it'll all come together. Okay, I think I'm gonna take Encore from Makeup Geek. This is a foiled shadow. It's really metallic and pretty. And then to kind of blend it, I'll take, I'll go back in with the brush and then just kind of softly work it in. But I love this shade Encore. It's kind of a couple shades lighter, I think, than Grandstand. Now I'm just taking my Kat Von D eyeliner. This is the tattoo liner in Trooper. This is this L'Oreal Voluminous Base. This is like a primer kind of thing for your lashes. It's just like a primer for your eyelashes. I've been using this off and on. I'm just using the um, Tarte Gifted Mascara. This is the Amazonian Clay one. I did a whole video on this and I truly, oh my gosh, this stuff's so good. Oh yes, it's so good. I love this. Who else talks to themselves while they do their makeup? I feel like I do, even when I don't film it, like when I do my makeup, like just, I don't know, even when I just do my makeup, like I'll watch a YouTube video or I'll put on Netflix or something, but if something is so pretty, I'm just like, look at that, it's so nice, and I'm like, who am I talking to, I don't know. I've been listening to a lot of music lately, I mean, I listen to music every day, like when I'm in the car and stuff, but I've been listening to like whole entire albums lately. Because there's been a lot of new releases and I'm so excited. I'm so excited I'm going to go to Camp Vlognov this year. It's not until November, but leave me a comment. Let me know if you're going because I will be there. And I cannot wait. I'm so excited. There's going to be a lot of people there that I listen to. And it's a really cool lineup. I'll list everything I use down below because I might forget to mention it. Since this is just like a chatty video. Sometimes I need my hair out of my face. It's windy today, so I'm like, girl... Need to get that hair on my face okay i'm just using 
my dip brow from Anastasia and this believe it or not is the auburn shade and it's dark like this to me looks a lot like the chocolate one I think it's chocolate I would play some of the music I listen to but I don't want to get copyrighted you know dang old copyright from YouTube and I also heard that you can't cuss anymore in videos if you want to monetize them so that's kind of a thing a weird thing because like doesn't vivo make money because vivo plays ads before the video so how does that work i want to know like are m musicians still going to put their videos on youtube because i don't know they won't be able to put ads anymore i'm not sure how that's all working because i still see people making videos where they're cussing and stuff and they still have ads on it so i don't know like i'm confused like how that whole how that whole thing went down. If you guys didn't hear about it, like YouTube kind of rolled out this new policy where you can't monetize your videos if you like talk about certain things, if you cuss and uh, they want to be like advertiser friendly, which I don't cuss on my channel anyway. Like maybe I have once in like one or two videos, but I don't really for the most part. So it didn't really bother me or affect me, I guess. But then I was just like, wait a second, what about the music part of YouTube? What about, like, you know, the music videos? That's instantly what I first thought of, like, what about music? And what about, um, you know, people, there's a lot of big YouTubers who cuss and stuff. And it doesn't bother me, like, I don't, I don't know. Just kind of wherever I want coverage. Usually my eyes, like, I kind of have discoloration here. So I'll take fair and then I'll just kind of do like one dab of it on the places where I want. So I just take it on the places where I want coverage and I'm not dipping back in. This is all from one swipe of the brush and I noticed that I get a lot of product just with one swipe. So you don't need to be like digging back and forth because you'll be set, trust me. And then. I really kind of have to mix the two colors together to get a shade that matches my skin tone so I'll take a little bit of light just to kind of mix it take a little bit of light just to kind of balance it all out I like to take light on the kind of more red areas real techniques what is this one buffing brush this brush works so well for this it's synthetic bristles it kind of um, it does soak up the concealer a little bit but you could just kind of stipple it I like to kind of stipple with the brush and then blend it out with the sponge. And then I'm just using this Morphe sponge today. I really like this one. It's pretty soft, but the only thing is it started to rip already on like the neck part. Like this little, this little part right here started to rip, so kind of sad, but it's still good. I've been using my Kat Von D, Kat Von D Lock It powder. This stuff is awesome for setting the under eyes has a little bit of a glow to it so pretty I love it it's the best gotta take a little bit of butter bronzer I barely tap my brush into this because it's pretty pigmented and since I am more on the fair side I don't I see that's already like a lot for me so I use this sparingly but I love it I love the texture it's so good it's like the best one from the drugstore like this is my favorite ooh that scared me I'm just at my place but I was gonna leave soon gonna leave soon though Oh my god, I gotta hurry. <laughs> okay, then I'm using Tarte Exposed Blush. This is kind of like a matte, semi-matte, I don't know. I, I don't know. I like the color. I will wear whatever makeup at any time, in any place. You can call me, beat me, if you want to reach me. Bit of shine. I didn't even put highlight on. It's from the Kat Von D Locket Powder. So this stuff has a bit of a luminosity to it, so you don't really need highlighter. But if you're like me, if you want highlighter okay you can add it so that's what I'm gonna do but I'm gonna go for more of a subtle subtle <laughs> subtle highlighter today this is the hourglass incandescent strobe light I take it I lightly tap 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 that's it this has glitter in it too so you know just be aware of that it's not I mean it is it is more subtle no not really it is kind of subtle I guess but it's not like natural natural looking I don't know highlighter you could get a natural looking one you can get a glittery one whatever do you okay done I'm not really gonna wear um, lipstick because like I said I don't 
I don't want to irritate my lips, but this has been working for me. My Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in Nude. I love this just by itself. So I just kind of, I like to line my lips with it and then fill it in. And I've been loving the pencils because they give me control and uh, it doesn't irritate my skin or anything. Last step here, fluff up the ponytail, you know, we gotta work it, okay? So that's it for today's vlog, chit chat, hang out with me, do makeup, basic. This is my get ready in 20 minutes makeup look. Usually it takes me less when I film, um, you know, when I'm not filming it, I'm just like done, like 10 minutes maybe max. I like it, I, I hope you guys liked it too, I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me. And that's it for today's kind of chit chatty vlog. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know how you're doing in the comments. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Hello. You taking your nap? <laughs> Look at him all stretched out. Look at you. This one too. Hi, Leia. Hi, Princess Leia asleep. Everyone's just enjoying their naps right now, huh? You enjoying your nappy? You checking on your sister? Oh, what a good boy. What a good boy you are. What a sweet brother. <laughs> You're so cute. You're so cute. Look at that face. Oh, hello.